Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about the position of elements in the modern periodic table. So the modern periodic table was given to us by the scientist named as Henry Moseley in 1917. Okay. In 1913. Okay. So we will discuss about how he arranged all the elements in today's lecture. Okay. So the modern modern periodic table has 18 vertical columns called as groups okay and seven horizontal seven horizontal rows known as periods okay students so let us see what decide the placing of an element in a certain group and certain period so we will do one activity based on that activity is first look at the group one of the modern periodic table and name the elements present in it so the group one contains hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and Frenchium. Okay, students, FR. Write down the electronic configuration of the first three elements. So the electronic configuration is like one, so it is two comma one, it will be two eight one. So what similarity do you find in their electronic configuration is that they all have one valence electrons in their outermost shell so if you write the electronic configuration of all the elements of group 1 you will see that all elements will have the one valence electrons in their outermost shell so you will find that the elements present in the any one group so what you will find is you will find that the elements in the in one group in one group have the same number of valence electrons so this activity we have done for only for group one and you can also check your uh, different groups have the same number of valence electrons okay so for example uh, elements like fluorine chlorine belongs to group 17 so how many electrons so fluorine atomic number is 9 so it has 2 7 and chlorine as 17 2 8 7 so they have 7 valence electrons in their outermost shell so this is how the position of elements in the modern periodic table was decided. So you will find that these elements do not have the same number of some elements like lithium, beryllium in the when you see along the period that you will find. So when you go across the period, let's say period 2, period 2, the elements were lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine and neon are present in the second period. Okay. So if you write down the atomic electronic configuration, so you will find that these elements do not have the same number of valence electron, but they contain the same number of same number of shells. So that is why they are arranged in a single period. 
so okay so that is why on moving from one unit to left they are arranged in a and atomic number increases so it has 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so if i make the electronic configuration like this is 2 comma 2 this is 2 comma 3 this is 2 comma 4 nitrogen 2 comma 5 oxygen 2 comma 6 fluorine 2 comma 7 and this is 2 comma 8 so you can see that the electronic configuration means the valence electrons are not the same in case of periods but they have second shell they all are in like these shells KLMN so they all belong to the shell L okay so that is why they are arranged in a single period so that is how the scientist arranged the elements in a period and a group okay so students now i hope that you are pretty clear about how the elements position of the elements were determined in the modern periodic table so in the next lecture we will discuss about the trends in the modern periodic table students so stay tuned for the next lecture on trends in the modern periodic table thank you happy learning